you'll have to create a login ID and a PIN. Your ID should be something you can remember, up to 9 characters. Your PIN should be 6 digits. Write down your ID and PIN in case you need to log back in later. If you need my help contacting enrollment services, just click on me. Which application type can I tell you more about? A transfer student is someone who has attended college before. Transfer students can have college credits from a previous school transferred, though they don't have to. If this sounds like you, select that you're a transfer student, then click here to continue with your application. If you have any questions, I can get you in touch with Enrollment Services. You can call them at this number. We'd like to know when you want to begin your classes. If you're not sure and want to talk to an enrollment specialist, you can call them at this number. Otherwise, if you know when you'd like to start, select the term, then click here to continue your application. Thanks for your interest in Community College of Aurora. Before we get started, let me just explain how things work. Each time you complete a checklist section, you'll see a red check mark like this one next to it. Make sure you fill out each section, since we can't process your application until we see 8 check marks. Once you've finished all the checklist sections, click here to submit your application. Start here, then work your way through each section. Remember, if you ever need my help, just click on me or one of these. Check to make sure that the way your name appears here is right. If you see any mistakes, you can fix them now. Once you've made sure your information is correct, click here to continue your application. CCA likes to have its students' addresses on file. In case we need to reach you with information or materials, don't worry, we won't give out this information. If you don't have a permanent address, fill out an address where you can safely have mail delivered. No problem. Do you live outside of Colorado? I can help you with that. First, I just need some personal information. The school likes to have its students' phone numbers on file, just in case we need to get you time-sensitive information. If you don't have a phone, don't worry. You can still continue your application. Just fill in all zeros here. When you're finished, click here to complete your application. Hi there, I'm happy to help you, so click on one of these, so I know exactly what you need. Are you having trouble figuring out your citizenship or visa status? No problem, let me help you with that. First, I just need some information. Are you a US citizen? Great, thanks.